This is not the first time that I've purchased from KKW. I actually have um, one of her creme lipsticks that was um, in collaboration with Kylie Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Kimmy. I also have on the powder contour and highlight kit in the shade Light. And I only have the contour and the silver shimmery highlighter. I don't have the bronze or the blush kind of highlighter on. So anyways, I wanted to let you know how I think it smells like. Is it worth it? I wanted to let you know how it's like from a man's perspective. I'm going to get my fiance's input. He'll let you know if he likes it or not. It's going to be really simple. So she has three shades. She has the Crystal Gardenia, the Crystal Gardenia Citrus, and the Crystal Gardenia Oud. I personally got the KKW Crystal Gardenia Citrus. I really like citrusy types of perfumes. I usually vibe with that before I strayed into the Oud realm, which I normally don't like, and I didn't know if I would like the original just Crystal Gardenia scent. So I went with the Citrus, um, just an example of some fragrances I do like. I'm a really big fan of Britney Spears Fantasy, Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. I really like Prada Candy. So I got the 30 milliliter um, size of the Crystal Gardenia Citrus because I, I didn't know if I was going to like it. And if I do love it, I will opt for the 75 milliliter, but I just wanted to play it safe. I also found it interesting that only the Crystal Gardenia and the Crystal Gardenia Citrus come in the 30 milliliter size. But the Oud does not come in 30 milliliter size. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. The Crystal Gardenia Citrus, the way that she describes it is a bright, fresh floral bouquet capturing all stages of the flower. From the sparkling citrus green bud to the delicate freshness of a newly opened blossom. The notes, it says the top notes are orange oil Brazil, Italian lemon or pur, Tahitian pomelo, purple passion fruit centrac, bayou's rose or pur. The middle notes are timeless gardenia petals, tiara flower, velvet tuberose. The base is serenolide and sylvanon, super musk, white cedar wood, sensual amber, Essential. Sustainable Sandalwood Australia Musk. I am so sorry if I butchered any of those words, and I probably did. <laughs> so it arrived in this little box. Ooh, this feels so nice. It feels very matte. I, I love how matte feels. Also, I want to say that my nails are in the color Alyssa, and it is a KL Polish shade. And if you want to see my swatches on fair skin, the link is down below in the description. So anyways, back to this. It feels very matte, which I like. I don't really like when um, packaging feels really shiny and and oily, but it is very beautiful. It almost feels like I'm getting a PR package and it just clips open. Now, I personally do not believe in crystal healing. I don't know, just like coming from a STEM background, I actually graduated with an environmental engineering degree. I tend to be very skeptical about a lot of stuff that doesn't have a lot of scientific base behind it. But I will say that I really love the story behind this. Apparently Kim Kardashian West turned to crystal healing in order to get over her PTSD from the Paris robbery. And I thought that that's really like impactful, it was really powerful. I felt like this really embodies a struggle that she went through. So you know what, I think that that's awesome. I'm willing to look past my skeptical nature and just admire the product for what it is. So you get a little envelope inside your package. And I believe it's supposed to have like two crystals in it. Oh no, it has three. I do really like the look and the feel of the crystals. I think it, they're really beautiful and very aesthetically pleasing. I think that the effects that people have noticed are placebo effects in my opinion. But who cares? If something works for someone, go ahead, do it. Do your thing, continue doing what makes you feel good inside. But yeah, I think that this is really beautiful. They feel really nice. I can see why people are really into crystals. <laughs> I don't know what Rose Quartz claims to do in the crystal healing world, but it actually does come with a card that explains that. Now on to the fragrance. 
even like the plastic that she used is so sturdy and durable like what the heck girl she's so smart with her packaging like the way that you get it out is you um i don't know toggle some sort of ribbon system and then you get your fragrance girl i cannot get this fragrance out there we go so I know that it is not supposed to stand up um, because it is supposed to mimic a crystal. Like this mimics the rose quartz crystal. And I, I think that's really beautiful. I don't personally have my fragrances standing up. I actually have them laying down in a drawer. So it'll be good for me. First impression, it's very, very beautiful to touch. Um, it feels, wow, it is like getting my, it's getting my fingerprints almost instantly, which is kind of crazy but it feels really nice to the touch. It feels very luxurious. It does not feel like $35. It feels like if I were to tell you I have this and you would feel it and I had you guess how much it was on the prices, right? You would guess probably like $150, $100, like most perfumes out there you see in department stores. So it's kind of hard to open. It's a little bit more difficult to open than I would like, but I still really love the concept. I think this is really innovative and very creative. Okay, I'm so scared to see how it smells. I really wanna love it, so we'll see. So I'm gonna spray it here on my wrist. I have no perfume on today. I kept it bare. It does smell good, but I will say that this is not what I thought it would smell like. When I think citrus, I think orangey smells, like hitting you at the top, I really love citrus. I feel like if you name your perfume with citrus in it, I should smell it and be like, citrus, you know, immediately. But when I smell it, and you know, again, I'm not a perfume connoisseur, I'm just your regular layman and doesn't really distinguish notes. So if you're a perfume connoisseur, you are definitely probably able to pick it out. I'm not. I definitely do smell sandalwood. I don't know, but at the same time, this perfume doesn't smell different. And I don't know if you have this problem, but when I smell a bunch of perfumes and, and like testers and stuff like that in magazines or in person, I'm always like, this smells like every perfume that I've smelled. And this does. It smells like those really girly perfumes that they sell you. I just thought that citrus would smell more orangey. On a scale of one to five, five being I love it, four being I like it, three I being I'm neutral, two I don't like it, one I hate it, I am on a three. I don't love it and I'm not like, please get this off my body. But I don't think that I have any perfumes where that comes to mind where I'm like, please get this off of my body. So next up is the male perspective of this. Mike has a really good sense of smell and he's like really picky about what he likes. Um, so we usually kind of have the same taste though. So if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure Mike is gonna say he doesn't like it. And that is my assumption. So on my left hand is gonna be the base middle notes. And then on my right hand, I'm gonna spray it and have him smell the top notes. Pretty good. Okay, this is the top notes. And now what about the base middle notes? It's okay. All right, so I want you to rate it between one to five. Five being you love it, four being you like it, three, you're neutral, two, I don't like it, one, I hate it. Okay, four. Four? Mm -hmm. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Why, what did you say? I thought you would hate it and uh, I gave it a three. Five. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think too. <laughs> I think that if you like how perfumes smell traditionally, then definitely you get the Gardenia Citrus. Um, I kind of am scared to see how like the Oud and just the Crystal Gardenia smell like. I thought this would be the fun one, so I don't think I'm gonna venture out. I don't think that I'm gonna be using it a lot, despite how beautiful the product is and how beautiful the packaging is. I'm so into that. Kim, if you're gonna come out with new uh, scents and you're watching this by some random chance, I would love if you could make one that's like very citrusy and different from what's out there in the market. 
Okay, so I am disappointed in this. Um, so far, I really like the contour, the liquid contour and the powder contour kits that KKW has come out with. So anyways, I hope you had a great day. Uh, if you liked the video, if it was informative for you, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any videos you'd like to see, please comment below. And um, yeah, bye guys.